What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Um, welcome back, Alchemy Community on YouTube. Um, we are ready to rock and roll with an A20 today. Uh, before I get going on, on, on what is on this chalkboard, if you are here for the first time, first and foremost, welcome. If you're here for the fifth to 500th time, welcome as always. It's great to have you guys back. Um, we got an A20 today. Let me go through this very, very quickly. What is an A20? Kind of a three-part class. We're gonna do a warm-up, a yoga mobility movement warm-up. We're gonna warm up all these different movements with some yoga, nice, simple yoga. We got a 20-minute workout. We start that workout and finish that workout together. 20 minutes of work. Then we will do a smooth yoga cool down on the back end, all right? This is the workout that we have. Bear with me here, kind of a lot of different movements. Let me talk through them, please. Five minutes of 50 low box runs, 40 narrow mountain climbers, 30 butt kicks, 20 high knees, 10 burpees. So for five minutes, we're gonna go through that as many times as we possibly can. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. I get done with those 10 burpees. I go right back up to the top, 50 low box runs. We work through that as many times as possible. I will update you on the clock as it's counting down. After our five minutes of the 50 down to 10, we go down to a four minute of 15 thrusters, 15 swings, and 15 snatches. 15, 15, 15, the same ball game here on these four minutes. We just repeat those 15s as many times as possible within that four minute time frame. After our four minutes, again, I will update you and give you guys a 30 second countdown, 20, 10. And then last but not least, we have one minute plank hold. Four, five, and one equals 10. Yes, 10. And we double that up to make a 20 minute workout, you guys. We're gonna go through this whole chalkboard two times. All right? We're gonna do some uh, movement demos now. We're gonna push this chalkboard back. Let's talk about low box runs, folks. Big thing, number one, if you do or do not have a box at home or if you're coming up and down on an object, before I even show you the movement, I want you to pay attention to your ankles. Watch out for rolling in ankles. Very, very easy to do that. Kyle's gonna show you a few. He's coming up and cupping down very, very quickly. Maybe, move that box out of the way, maybe you have a torpedo or an object right in front of you and you're just gonna toe touch almost kind of like a small jump. That's your low box run. Every single step or every single touch, every single movement, if you will, with each leg is gonna count as one rep. Those are somewhat fast. Let's turn up the heat on those. After that, 40 narrow mountain climbers. Our body is long and strong. Go back to that high plane for a second. Shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles start nice and long. Try to maintain that position. Then we pull the knees up and kick them back. One, two, three, all the way up to 40. The wrist might start to flare up. Feel free to shake them out. After our 40 narrow mountain climbers, 30 butt kicks, guys. We know this, we stand up nice and tall. We bring the heels up towards the butt. A Little bit of a stretch, nice little breakdown between the 50s and the 40s coming down to the 30. 20 high knees. When we are doing these high knees, you need to drive those knees up as high as you can. And I always like to have those arms move as well. It's kind of a thing like a, a football player, like a linebacker, something like that. You are pumping through those 20 high knees. Bring some intensity, bring some speed. Last but not least, 10 burpees laying down, coming all the way up, jumping and clapping if you feel comfortable doing so. We can always step down, step back. We can take out the push-up. The idea of this is we come down to a position you feel comfortable with, and then we come all the way back up with a small jump and clap overhead, all right? After those movements, down to 15 thrusters. Elbows are up nice and high. Do not let them drop. We squat down to the bottom of a squat. Then we drive up and we punch, knuckles through the ceiling. Come back down to that shoulder for me. Do one more rep, please. He stays in the heels and he drives up. Abs are always tight, all right? Thrusters. If you have some other object other than a torpedo, anything goes. Hold on to something, hold it right in front of your face. We squat down, drive up. Swings, starting down in this position. We pike in towards those hips and we hinge and we pop. Bringing that object, whatever you're holding on to, all the way up to your eyes every single time. Keep the back straight, please. Fabulous. Last but not least, snatches, torpedoes down between the feet. If you're holding on to something, whatever it may be, maybe it's even a book, maybe you'd have to hold on the entire time. Come down, hand goes onto that object, hips are down just a little bit, chest is up tall, we drive and punch that object up over our head. That's one rep, we come back down, alternate to the left hand, and then we drive and punch up overhead. 15 reps there, 15s. Last but not least, our plank hold. Our body is nice and long. Shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles, just like in those uh, narrow mountain climbers. Shoulders stay stacked over the elbows and the wrists, squeezing the legs, the quads, and the glutes. Ooh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back and come back to our spaces here. This got done with our movement demos and breakdown. We'll come to standing at attention. Heels are gonna come together. Find a nice, smooth, comfortable position for your body standing up tall and proud. Let your eyes start to shut. We're gonna do three breaths to open up this class. I always like to remind us, this is the book opening end of our class. We wanna take this very, very seriously, right? So shut those eyes and be ready for these three breaths. Our heels are together, our palms are rotated towards the front of your room, your elbows are long and extended and your shoulder blades are rolled back. First breath, in through the nose, bring in the air, filling up the lungs, and a loud exhale, pressing out that air. Fabulous job. Second breath, let's go deeper in through the nose. Feel it open the lungs and loud exhale, pressing that air out. Last breath, slightly slower, a little bit deeper in through the nose, bringing the air in, and then we drive that air out through our body. Blink, open your eyes. Just drop your ears shoulder to shoulder a few times. Maybe a couple big head circles through the neck and mountain pose. Hands reach up towards our ceiling and our pinkies are rotated towards the front of the room. Our elbows are long and extended. We're driving our arms towards the back of the room, starting to warm up our shoulders. While we're here, drive your ears, or excuse me, your shoulders up into your earlobes a few times. Start to bring movement into that shoulder capsule. Fabulous job. Side body stretch over to the right side of the room. Your right hand captures your left wrist and we lean over to that position. Hold it here. Bend your knees a half an inch and then sink that position a half an inch further with that left arm. Come back up to mountain pose. Left hand captures our right wrist and we pull over towards the left side of the room. Abs are always tight. We're protecting our spine. Find that slight knee bend. Bring it a half an inch further. Feel the stretch. Fabulous job. And we come back to center. Bring the arms down and bring them behind your back. Interlace your fingers right behind your hips. Roll those shoulder blades back. Take a nice wide step out with your left foot or right foot, opening up your stance slightly and come down to a forward fold holding this position. We're raising up our arms and now it's okay to drop the shoulder down to the knee. Left shoulder, left knee right shoulder, right knee, bringing movement through our body. Drop the hands, stay bent over, and let those fingertips kiss the ground. We'll slowly walk our hands over to the left side of the room, and then baby little steps over to the right side of the room. It's fine and completely acceptable to bend and extend your knees here, trying to sandwich your body, your chest, in towards your thighs. Very, very nice job. Heel toe, or just bring those feet back together, please. Hands fall next to the feet. Crouch your hips down towards your ankles. When we're here, we're in a tight ball. Squeeze through your abs, right? We're not relaxed here. We are warming up, and now we curl, driving our hips up as we push our knees back and our hamstrings stretch, and they start to scream at you slightly. And then we crouch back down into a tight ball, coming up on the balls of the feet. Feel a little bit of rocking movement forward and backwards, possibly side to side through the knees and the ankles, very smooth and controlled, and curl, driving the knees up, pushing the knees back. Fabulous job, high plank, palms to the ground, we step the body back, long and strong, rock forward and backwards, side to side. If you need to, feel free to shake out the left arm, shake out the right arm, let's go right to a tabletop, hands and knees, and we sink back, child's pose. We widen our knees, and we reach our hips back as far as they can go. As you come back with your hips, we extend through the arms, the shoulders, the elbows, all the way into the fingers as well. This is an active stretch. Feel the shoulders opening, the chest opening. Come back to that tabletop, please. Hold here for just a moment, and then sink further back into that child's pose. Try to find a little bit more range of motion. Drive the hips back to the left. Drive the hips back to the right, opening up the left side and right side, back up to that tabletop position. And our first down dog of the day, folks. Hips drive up, heads come back through our shoulders. Pedal it out. This is an uncomfortable, but a fabulous position to help us warm up. Move the hips to the left and the right, sink into those heels. Shake out your left arm, then your right arm. Drive the shoulders up and down, lock and release your abs. Start to wake up that body as much as you can. We'll take some baby steps forward towards our hands 
and then we curl our body all the way up to a standing position. Fabulous job. Shake out that left arm, roll out that wrist. I'm gonna be a little bit worried about our wrists on this workout. Be ready for those to flare out. And the other one as well, mountain pose. Hands come up as high as we can. A few calf raises up and down to the balls of our feet. We're still reaching our arms back and we're still prepping our shoulders. Sink into the heels, side body stretch to the right side. Right hand captures that left wrist and we lean over towards that right side. Abs are tight, left arm is long, and we pull it all the way over to the left side of the room, please. Left hand, capturing that right wrist, maintain that position, hold it, bear with me here. Two more seconds, back up to center, nice job. Drop those arms and shake them out. Let's talk about an air squat real quickly. We're gonna start to warm up our hips and our knees for our thrusters, not to mention a lot of all of these movements, right? Our feet come underneath our shoulders. Please understand, it's not the hips, it's the shoulders, but there's a very fine line for going too wide. Nice, comfortable stance. Wiggle your toes, feel your heels in the ground. Hold your arms up, maintain your thumbs towards the ceiling. When I say down, we're gonna squat down. Hold this position till I stay up. It's not gonna be too long, bear with me. Abs are tight, slowly, ready, and down. We pull the hips back, we sink into those heels, the eyes are forward, our chest is tall, and stand. If you need to, shake it out. Three, two, ready, and down. Coming back down, go down a half an inch further, pull your hips a little bit further back, raise your arms up a half an inch, and then we stand, feel that heat build. One more time, down, and stand, nice job. Mountain pose, hands come back up high, feet come together, and forward fold, hinging and rounding right into crouching curls, ladies and gentlemen. Hips coming down, it's okay for you to go at your own pace here. Don't be afraid to go a little bit faster, right? We're bringing that speed notch from a one to a two. We're going a little bit quicker here. Nice job, high plank, palms to the ground, we step back. Folks, we are gonna be there for a minute two times today, so two minutes total. While you're here, it's okay if you need to shake it out or come down and shake it out. Maybe come down to your hands and knees. That's totally fine as well. Let's push it back, down dog, hips reach up high. Pedal it out, bring some movement into this mechanics, right? Side to side, up and down, shake out the left arm, shake out the right arm. Coming back to that high plank, we're gonna bring that right knee in towards the chest, right up towards the sternum, squeeze it and step back. Now that left knee comes in, squeeze and step back. Same thing eight more times, a pull up towards the sternum and step back. We will be going a lot faster during the workout, of course, but we're just prepping ourselves up here. After number eight, let's push back to a down dog. Hips go up nice and high, big pedals up and down, side to side, baby steps. Feet walk forward towards our hands as we round our back all the way back up to standing. Feet come underneath our shoulders. We're gonna go right back into a few more air squats. We're gonna bring up the speed, Bear with me, stay with me. Hands are up, thumbs towards the ceiling, feet are where? Shoulder width, please. Ready, wiggle the toes, find those heels, and down. Maintain, drive the knees out, and stand. Nice job, ready, down, and drive all the way up. Do that three more times. Squatting down, standing up, feel the movement. Feel the knees, the hips start to warm. Next. Let's grab our torpedo or grab our object. We are gonna talk about swings here. Number one thing I wanna be aware of, back needs to stay straight as I hinge over. We're not here, we're always here. Keep those abs nice and tight. Feet are gonna be just outside of your hips. That object comes down in front. If you don't have a torpedo, it's okay to start standing. Molly, why don't you stand up? Yeah, she can start standing and he'll start down here. When I say go, we pull that object into our hip, we drive and we come all the way up to eye level. Ready and go. Knock out four reps right in a row. Let the arms be loose. These are chains that are just connected to a weight. After number four, torpedoes go down, shake it out, shake it out. Move out those arms to the left, to the right. A couple big circles, a little freestyle here. You guys are doing fabulous. We're gonna start to bring up that intensity just a little bit. Bring the body and bring the legs together, the feet, mountain pose. Hands come up nice and high. Five more calf raise, up and down, up and down. After number five, we're gonna go and do some high knees. Please watch the knees, watch the ankles here. The opposite arm, opposite knee comes up and then we pump into the opposite side. I need 10 reps, ready? and go. Bring those knees up, punch those arms, keep the chest up tall. Mountain pose, take a big breath of air in through the nose and out. 
forward fold, hinging and rounding that back all the way down. A couple more crouching curls. We just went from a two up to a four with our speed through these mechanics right now, right? We're starting to get that heart rate to bring up, trying to bring that heart rate a little bit quicker. High plank, body goes back and long. Hold here, 10 seconds, no movement. You are a statue, you own your position. Your abs are tight, possibly a slight round in that back for three, two, down dog. Hips go up nice and high, a couple big pedals. We come back to that high plank, worm your body all the way down to the ground, please. You are laying flat on your chest. When I say go, we're gonna do a burpee. We're gonna go from the ground all the way up, a slight jumping clap. We're gonna go about 70% of your effort. That's still somewhat up there, so bring some heat for me. Ready, and go. All the way up, jump and clap. Fabulous, staying, standing up, go right into 10 high knees. Now we're starting to pick up that pace a little bit more. After the 10 high knees, not a lot to say, we go right into 10 butt kickers. Heels come right into the heel, uh, butt, excuse me. Fabulous job. Meet me back down into down dog. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. If you need to go to your tabletop and maybe shake out the arms or sink back to a child's pose, that's always fine. Three-legged down dog, our right leg reaches up as high as we possibly can. Our hips stay square to the ground. Our abs are tight. Pull that heel up an extra half an inch, please. Low lunge, arms and leg comes through those arms. Crescent lunge, arms reach up towards the ceiling. Fingertips are up, elbows are long. We pull the arms back a half an inch. We go down one full inch in that front right knee. Maintain, let that heat build. Nice job, warrior two, right hand comes forward. Extended side angle, reach forward and down. No rush, maintain and hold here for just a moment. Nothing moves on the bottom half of the body on this next pose. Reverse the warrior, right arm reaches up and back. Feel that stretch to the right side. Low lunge, down dog. Meet me in the high plank. We're gonna hold there for five, four, three, Two, 10 narrow mountain climbers, move those knees. We're moving as quickly as possible after number 10. One, burpee, all the way down, all the way up, standing up tall. I need 10 high knees, bring them up one more time. 10 butt kickers, we're going quicker here, right? This is the quote unquote easy stuff of the day. We just wanna get through them. Folks, grab your object, let's talk thrusters. Take a big breath in and out, pay attention here, right? We're slowing it back down so we can understand these mechanics. Grab that object, up on the shoulders please. Our elbows are up pointing at the wall in front of you. Your object, if it's a torpedo or a dumbbell, is resting on your shoulders. If it's something else, we're holding here. Bear with me here. When I say down, we go to the bottom of the squat. When I say up, we drive and we're gonna punch up overhead. Ready, down, hold for one, and up, all the way up overhead. Beautiful, come back to the shoulder. Ready, and go, down and up. One more time, and go, down and up. Object goes down to the ground, shake out the left arm. Shake out the right arm. You guys are killing it. You can feel how this is gonna add up, especially after five minutes of those simpler movements. You guys are killing it. Meet me back in a down dog. Take a drink of water if you need to. Pedal it out, shake out that breath. Make some adjustments if needed back at home. Three-legged down dog. Our left leg goes up. Don't rush through these mechanics and through these positions. Raise that heel a little bit higher. That left leg, that left knee is long and extended. And now a low lunge, we come forward and through. Crescent lunge, hand, fingertips come towards the ceiling. You know what I'm gonna say, let's get a half an inch deeper in that left knee. Let's pull the arms back. Are your abs tight? Lock them down, nice job. Warrior two, our left hand comes forward, eyes over our fingertips. Shoulder blades are rolled back, chest is up tall, and extended side angle. We reach forward and down, maintain here. Bend that knee a half an inch deeper, that left knee. Nothing moves, you're static on that bottom half, reverse the warrior, left hand pulls up and back. Low lunge, hands come back down to the ground, step back to a down dog. Meet me in a tabletop, give yourself five seconds here. Take a big breath in, we're gonna start to hit these movements. I know we already have, we gotta do it some more. Let's come all the way up to standing please. Let's come all the way up to standing. If we have a box, now's the time to get it in front of you for low box runs, right? Or an object. Obviously, if you don't even have an object, you could literally just do like a kick out. That is what I would consider a low box run if you're at home. You gotta make do with what you got. You guys are killing it. When I say go, we're gonna go for 15 reps of these low box runs or little toe touches, whatever they may be. Ready 
and go. Watch the ankles moving up, moving down, find some speed. After number 15 there, come down to the high plank. I need 10 narrow mountain climbers. We're gonna start working down this chalkboard. 15 of the low box runs, come all the way down to a high plank. All the way down to a high plank. Beautiful, you guys. I need 10 narrow mountain climbers. Knees coming up and back, up and back, up and back. Stand all the way up. I need 10 butt kicks and then 10 high knees. You guys are killing it. Come on, let's get through this. These are simple. 10 butt kicks, 10 high knees, one smooth burpee down and up. Stay standing after number one. Fabulous job. Let's talk about these mechanics now. Thrusters, swings, and snatches. Grab your object, I need three thrusters. Your elbows stay up high, a full squat, a drive, and a punch. Knuckles going through the, uh, through the ceiling, excuse me. Right into four, whoop, forgot that pinky, four swings please. Hinge and pop all the way up to the eyes. Last but not least, object comes down between your feet after number four on those swings. We gotta talk snatches. I find this to possibly be the most complicated movement out of everything today, all right? Our hips are gonna be low. We're gonna grab onto that object with our right hand. When I say go, we're gonna drive through the knees, then the hips, then pull through the arm and punch aggressively up overhead. Your bicep is not out. Your arm is close to your head, bicep tight to your ear. Come down, grab onto your object. Hips are low, chest is up, eyes are forward. When I say go one snatch, hold it up over your head, ready, and go. Pull and punch. Beautiful, bring it all the way back to the ground with some control. Left hand goes on, ready, and go. And we come all the way back down. Fabulous job. Move that job object out of your way. Stand up, shake out your legs, shake out your arms. Take a big breath in, a big breath out. We have two more things just to do together as a group. Meet me back in a down dog, please. A couple big pedals. I want to press you or, or challenge you to push your head further through your shoulders. Feel the chest open. We have a lot of overhead here. Couple micro bends, bend and extend through your elbows in this down dog, three-legged. Our right leg goes up high, bend the knee, bring that right heel over to the left side, big stretch down that right side of the body, and come back to a down dog. Three-legged down dog, the left leg goes up, pause, hold it there, now we bend the knee, bring that heel to the opposite side of the room, big stretch through the lats on the left side of the body, back to the down dog. High plank, 10 seconds, we own it together. Our backs are slightly rounded. Our abs are tight. Elbows are extended, holding for three. You guys got this. Two, one, come down to a tabletop. Stand up, take a drink of water, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna start this workout. Um, it's gonna be a fabulous one. Let's do it. All right, we're starting with 50 low box runs, Five minutes, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. We're starting in 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be a fabulous <laughs> workout. 50 low box runs or 50 toe touches, whatever they may be. In three, two, one, go. We're moving quickly right now. We're watching our ankles. We're watching our knees. We're smooth. We're delicate with our steps coming up and coming down, right? We're not stomping right now. We're going up and down, up and down as quick as we can. After 50, Low box runs, we're going to 40. Narrow mountain climbers down in that high plank position. The knees coming up in towards your chest as quick as feels comfortable for you. Let's get through these low box runs. Move those arms a little bit, right? Make them fast. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Every single step, every single time you go up and down, that counts as a rep, you guys. That counts as a rep. We should be finishing this up pretty quickly here. We're gonna come down to that high plank. We go into those narrow mountain climbers. 50 low box runs. 40 narrow mountain climbers, all right? 50, then 40. After our 40 narrow mountain climbers, we go down to 30 butt kicks. Let's finish up those low box runs. Let's get into that narrow mountain climber. Nice job, you guys. Move those knees, keep breathing. Keep breathing. In the narrow mountain climbers, body is long. Keep the hips low. Don't let them pop up on me. They are going to naturally do that. This is not a down dog moving my knees up and down. This is a high plank driving my knees up and towards my sternum. Find a way to get these done. If you need to shake out those arms, feel free. Watch the wrists. They might start to flare. 40 narrow mountain climbers, 30 butt kicks. Stay tall, make sure that we're raising that heel as much as we can. We're almost looking for a quad stretch, 
just as much as it is a quote unquote buck kick. Fabulous job. 30 buck kicks. 20 high knees, and when you're in those high knees, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta move. I want those knees high, thus the term high knees. They're not fast, slow knees, they're high knees. If we need to go slower to get the knees up, do that. Fabulous. We go into 10 burpees, down and up. Find your pace right now. This is gonna spike your heart rate even more than it already is. You can get through these 10 reps right now. You can get through these 10 reps right now. If you need to at any time during these five minutes, we can always cut reps. If 50 of low box runs isn't in the game, that's fine. Bring it down to 20, bring it to 30, bring it to whatever feels comfortable. Let's get through this 20 minutes together and let's enjoy this. Stay on the grind. You get done with those 10 burpees, what do we do? We're coming right back up to those low box runs and we're picking up that pace again. Watch the ankles, especially this second round in, we're starting to get a little fatigued already. We get a little discombobulated with all these ups and downs, knees going up, hips moving, ankles dropping, right? Slow down if we need to. Take a drink of water, but let's keep the grind. Let's keep the grind. We guys are killing it. We're past halfway. We got a little bit less than two and a half minutes here. Let's try to get through a whole nother 50 down to 10, please. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This is hard if you're at home and you're alone, especially that way, right? Get in your mind in a positive way. Yes, you can. Give me the rep. Say what you gotta say to get this done. Let's get to the end of this five minutes. We're less than two minutes, a minute 45, please. Come on, let's keep on grinding, let's keep on grinding. 50 low box runs, 40 narrow mountain climbers. Come on, bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. Watch those ankles, watch those feet. Move the arms, eyes are on your target. Don't be looking around right now. When we get to those narrow mountain climbers, I need speed. I need speed, I want them fast. We're punching, 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 moving, grooving, grooving. Come on, let's get it, let's move it, let's pop it, let's drop it. After those 40 narrow mountain climbers, we're going right into 30 butt kicks, right? Those heels come up, raise the chest. We're not bent over, we're tall and we're proud. Come on, keep those reps on, keep those reps on. Just keep on chipping away for me. Folks, we got one more minute here and then we're going to our 15, 15, 15. Keep working, keep working. 50 low box runs, 40 narrow mountain climbers, 30 butt kicks, 20 high knees, and I want those knees touching up your chin, and 10 burpees, stay on it. Let's try to get through this whole thing. Let's get through this whole thing. 45 seconds, and then we're on four minutes of 15 thrusters, 15 swings, and 15 snatches. Keep on working, please. Keep on working, please. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a break to get your mindset here. Give me 10 more seconds at least. 10 more seconds of work on these five minutes of work movements, right? Come on, keep on grinding. Keep on grinding, keep on grinding. 20 seconds, start to stand up, find your object. Shake out your arm, take a big breath in and out. We're coming to 15 reps of thrusters, then swings, then snatches in 10 seconds thrusters. Elbows are up. Feet are where? Underneath your shoulders. In five, three, two, one, 15 thrusters. Now folks, it's okay. Slow down here a little bit. Find your mechanics. We squat down, we drive up, and then we punch. We take our time on the squat, and then we find our acceleration on the way up. Our knuckles are through the ceiling every single time. Your abs are tight. After your 15 reps, it's okay to put your object down and shake it out. We don't gotta go right into the 15 swings. If you're ready to do so, do so. It's okay though if you need to break it up. It's okay if you need to break it up. Let's keep on grinding. Don't let the elbows drop. Keep the eyes forward. Keep that chest driving up tall and proud. Make sure you feel the weight with these squats in your heels. It's not in your toes, it's not in the balls of your feet. Pull your butt back as you squat down. Let's get through these 15. You need to break up your 15, do it. You don't wanna do 15, you wanna do 10, you wanna do 12, awesome. Let's just get these reps in, break it up, shake it out, take a big breath in, big breath out, then we come to our swings. Our feet are just about where they were for our thrusters. We pull that object into our hip, we drive. The power comes from my knees, my hips, not my arms, not my shoulders. They just guide the weight to where they need to go. Shoulder blades are rolled back, please. Shoulder blades are rolled back, abs are tight, weight is still in the heels. We're hinging, we're not squatting in the swing. We hinge over, we don't squat down. 
Shake it out, you guys are killing this. You guys are killing this. This is hard. It's supposed to be hard. That's why we're doing it right now. Coming up to the snatches, if you're already there, keep on grinding, folks. Hips are down, chest is up. Same ball game. The power coming from the knees and the hips. Same thing with the thrusters, same thing with the swings. We zip that object straight up our chest, close, and then we pull and we punch. Our bicep is tight to our ear. Own the position up over your head for just an extra millisecond. It's not just up and down, it's up. And then we bring it back down. You guys are killing this. Stay in the game. After 15, 15, 15, what happens? We bop right back up to the top. 15 thrusters at the top there. 15 thrusters, 15 swings, 15 snatches. Come on, guys. Yes, you can right now. Yes, you can right now. Give me these reps. Keep them chipping away one at a time. One at a time, one at a time. About 90 more seconds and we're gonna get to meet in our plank. Let's keep working for 90 seconds and then we get to meet in our plank. Let's go, let's go. You guys are killing it. As we're doing those thrusters, folks, I want it to zip fast. I want a fast punch through that arm. It's not slow up overhead. That's where it's the fastest. It's a bull punch. Knuckles up towards those ceilings. Stay on the grind. Stay on the grind, 60 seconds. One more minute here, stay on, stay on. Yes, you can. What are you saying to yourself right now? I get to do this. I don't have to do this, I get to do this. I'm taking care of myself right now. We're popping, we're dropping, we're rocking, we're moving, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, you guys, stay on it. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Give me 15 reps in those 40 seconds. You can do that, you can do that, yes you can. I don't care if it's five reps of something, five reps of the other, five reps of number three. Give me 15. Come on, come on, commit to this right now. Commit to yourself right now to get to this plank. Come on, stay on it. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. When we get down to 10 or five, let's start to put those objects out of our way. And there's 10 seconds. Objects down gently. Come down to your hands and knees. One minute plank in five. Nice job. Three, two, one high plank. Body is long and strong. I need you right now to squeeze your legs together and squeeze your butt as tight as you can. You're gonna forget to use that. Those are two big chunks of muscle we often forget about as athletes. It's gonna help keep those hips long. Shoulders over the uh, elbows, elbows over the wrists. If you need to make a fist, that's just fine to help stack that wrist, right? Keep it up, you guys, keep it up. 35 seconds left. If you gotta come to our hands and knees, shake it out, that's fine. You could even be one knee on the ground, the other knee in a long extended position like a plank to take some pressure off. You guys are killing it, 22 seconds. 22 seconds, all the way to the end. We're not giving up on this at all. I want all 60 seconds here. Stay on it, stay on it. 12 seconds, please hold this. Don't stop now, come on, come on. In five, all the way to the zero, three, Two, one, we stand up, we take a drink of water very quickly if we need to. We go right back into our five minutes right now. Right. 50 low box runs. This is the part of the workout that is the hardest. This makes and breaks it. Yes, I know it's hard. The heart rate skyrocketing. You're uncomfortable, you're sweating. You may be with somebody, you may not be at home right now. Does not matter. Get out of your head if it's negative. Get in your head positive. Let's go. 50 low box runs, 40 narrow mountain climbers, 30 butt kickers, 20 high knees, 10 burpees. Find your pace. Come on, find your pace. 50 reps up and down, up and down, up and down. We're moving, we're grooving, we're rocking and we're rolling. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Yes, you can. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Nice job. Nice job. In these low box runs, if we feel like we're starting to slow down a little bit, stop, shake it out, take a breath, and then I want you to crush 10 reps. See what I'm saying? I don't want 50 slow reps. I want 10, 7, 12 reps at a time when you're kicking butt, no pun intended, and then we get right back into it if we need to, right? Let's try to spike that intensity. This is supposed to be fast movements right now, right? And I know we're starting to get tired, but yeah, we can keep that up. We can take a breath, take a drink of water, and then turn that heat back on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 50 low box runs, 40 narrow mountain climbers, guys. Come on, don't stop on me. Don't stop on me. Take all that negativity out of your brain. 
and get in that positive side right now. Let's keep these reps coming. Let's keep these reps moving, right? Talk to yourself. Yes, you can. I get to do this right now. I can do more right now. You guys are killing this. Stay on, stay on. I know it's tough. It's tough. It's all right though. It's supposed to be hard. That's why we're signing up for this. This is why we're looking at this video right now. We're not here to do something easy. We're here to challenge ourselves. Commit to yourself, right? We have seven minutes and 56 seconds left in this workout. You guys can get through this. You guys can get through this. Let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving, right? Narrow mountain climbers. We're moving those knees fast. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Again, if we need to break them up, do so. Knock out 10 really, really fast. Take a breath. That's all good. We'll get right back on the grind. 30 butt kicks, 20 high knees, and we're right back in those 10 burpees. Right back in those 10 burpees. We get done with those 10 burpees, we're gonna pop right back to the top. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice job, you guys. Come on, stay in the grind right here. Stay in the grind right here. Laying down, getting up, moving those knees, pumping those arms, right? This is what it's all about right now. Get yourself to sweat, right? We're being locked in our houses right now. We got a lot of stuff we would rather be doing, but let's enjoy what we can do. Let's enjoy what we can do right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, folks. You guys got this in you. You guys got this in you. Keep that speed up. Keep that intensity level up high, right? Turn that power gauge up a little bit more. Give me what you have left in the tank. I want it, and I want my reps. Let's go. You guys are killing it. You guys are killing it. Nice job, you two. Come on, stay on. Stay on. One minute, 40 seconds left here. One minute, 40 seconds sec, and we're done with these movements. You never got to touch them again for this day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Keep up your mechanics. Stay focused on how we're moving. Do it right. Do it fast, but do it right first. If we do need to slow it down, that's okay. You guys can get through this. Get all that negative stuff out of your head right now and keep that grind on, right? Do that for yourself right now, all right? Come on, keep on moving. Keep on moving. One minute and six seconds and we're done with these, and we're to our 15, 15, 15. Don't worry about that now, but keep the reps coming, right? I expect probably another 20, 30, 40 reps, depending on what movements you are in this last minute. Come on, finish like you started. Don't give up, get in it. You can't get out of it right now, so you gotta get into it right now. Enjoy it, right? It's supposed to hurt. That's a good thing. If those fires in those lungs, Keep on moving, keep on grooving, come on, come on, come on. 31 seconds, folks, 31 seconds. Come on, stay in, stay in, stay in. Come on, pop, pop, pop. Keep those knees high, right? Bring them up towards the chest. Bring those heels all the way up. Make contact in that butt. Come on, move, move, move. And those high knees, move those arms. If you're on burpees, get them done. Own those 10 reps. Get them done, have some fun. Let's go, you guys. 10 seconds and we're on our 15. Start to slow down, grab your object. In three, two, one. 15 thrusters, 15 swings, 15 snatches. Pick it right back where you left off. If you don't remember, it doesn't matter. Grab that object, let's start back over right now. Again, it's okay to go a little slower in these. All right, focus on your mechanics. Focus on the hips and the knees. That is where our power is coming from for every single one of these movements. Thrusters, elbows are up, abs are tight, eyes are forward. Weights in the heels, wiggle those toes. Our swings, we hinge over, right? Molly's hinging over, chest coming down, and she drives those hips forward. And the snatches, our hips are down low when we grab onto that torpedo, our back is straight. Our chest is tall and our eyes are forward. We zip that object right up our chest and we punch our knuckles to the ceiling. Stay in the grind right now. Don't stop. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Three more minutes of 15. That's 180 seconds. Yes, you can. Let's go. Commit right now. Get the reps. Get the reps. Get the reps. Make those arms come up fast up overhead on those stances. Punch. Yeah, nice job. Nice job. When we're on those snatches, guys, torpedo or object stays close. We zip and punch. I want to see acceleration through that elbow. Take a look at the video real quick. When I come up, I punch fast. It's not a slow punch. It's not a slow extension. It's an aggressive one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 90 more seconds, folks. Less than 90 seconds. Or 
whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> Keep on going, you guys. Nice job. I got a little tongue tied on that one. Keep on rocking. Come on. Hands back on that object. Keep moving. Keep it up. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Down, drive right back up. Down, drive right back up. Come on, get through the 15. Let's get back to those thrusters. If we're on our thrusters, let's get to our swings. If we're on our swings, let's get back to the snatches. Right, if we're on our snatches, we go right back over, start up another rep for me, please. Another round. Nice job, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, keep on grinding. Keep on grinding. Don't stop, don't stop. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. Take a drink of water, hand right back on that object. Don't give up. Finish this workout like you started this workout. Keep the intensity levels here. Stay dynamic, stay aggressive. All the way to the end of the clock. Folks, we got two and a half minutes total left here. Two and a half minutes total left in here. Yes, you can. Grab that object and let's move. Let's groove. Nice job. Elbows are up high on those thrusters. You should be resting on the shoulders. If you're holding a different object, keep the elbows up. I know the shoulders are burning. It's gonna hurt a little bit. You guys are doing fabulous. Stay on for me. Stay on for me. One minute, or excuse me, yes. One minute, 10 seconds, and then we're on our plank. Then we're on our plank. Don't stop right now. Boom. 60 seconds of 15s. 60 seconds of these 15s. Keep it up. Keep it up. Find that intensity. Turn that music up a little bit louder. Get into it right now. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. I want these reps staying on. I want all that you have left in the tank. Right? Do this for yourself. And if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for somebody else. Let's go. Take care of yourself so you can take care of somebody else. Let's go. Let's go. 32 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. In 32 seconds, I need another full set of 15. Come on, give me another full set of 15 or whatever that full set is for you. Get it right now. Come on, make it happen. Accomplish your goal right now. 17 seconds left here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. We're coming up to this last plank. We're coming up to this last plank in 10. Stay on, stay on in five, three, two, one. High plank. Body is long. And yes, your body is still strong right here. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, stack, legs together. Body tight, active, abs on, shaking, awesome. That's normal. You should be shaking right now, right? If you feel strong, you feel like that was smooth, awesome. Then tighten up a little bit more. Press through, press into those knuckles or into those palms a little bit harder. Halfway, 30 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds left. Commit all the way to this clock, hit zero, please. All the way to this clock, hit zero, please. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Talk to yourself, do what you need to to get to the end of this plank. All the way to the end of this plank. 10 seconds left. All the way to zero. All the way to zero. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Hi, fabulous job. <laughs> fabulous job, ladies and gentlemen. Take that drink of water if you need to. Coming back to your space, we're standing up nice and tall. Honestly, congratulate yourself right here. So we'll start to bring those heels together. We rotate the palms towards the front of the room. We're gonna do one big breath together. This is gonna be a tough one because your heart rate's so high. Bear with me now. Stand up tall, roll the shoulder blades back. One breath, in through the nose, fill up, and then press the air out. Nice job, mountain pose. Hands are up, shoulders are dying. I feel you right now. Bend the elbows, opposite hand to opposite elbow, and pull the arms back, and slowly just tick tock to the left and to the right, just a few times. And then drop those arms, shake it out. Shake it out, roll the head back and forth. Push the hips side to side and meet me all the way down in the forward fold. Hinge at the hip, rounding our back. Forearm on, forearm on to a rag. Doll pose and sway. Big movement, way over to the left side. Then we bring it way over to the right side. Let that lower back open. Hamstring starting to release. Palms come down to the ground, step back. High plank, we're gonna hold it there for three seconds. Come on, yes you can. Two, one, tabletop, hands and knees. Puppy dog pose. We keep our hips stacked directly over our knees. We do not lean back and we walk 
our arms forward. We push our chest down towards the ground. Our elbows are long and extended, sinking our head through our shoulders. And we walk our hands over to the right side of the room. Hold this position and lean, fall slightly in towards your left arm, left lat, left shoulder. Let's open that up. A ton of shoulder stuff today. A ton of shoulder stuff. And then we bring it all the way over to the left side. A little pause here. We're taking care of ourselves. And while we're taking care of ourselves, we're congratulating ourselves. What are you saying right now? It's like, man, I just did that. Great job. Come back to center. Push it back to a down dog. Our hips go up high. Shake out your left arm. And then shake out that right arm. A three-legged down dog. Our right leg goes up high. Pigeon pose. Our right knee comes forward over towards our right hand. And I want us all to sink all the way down. Chest coming towards our knee. A lot of hip dynamic movement of closing and opening. I want us to stretch through that hip a little bit right now. About 10 seconds. Be active. We're not passive here. We're still stretching. We're still taking care of ourselves. Find some pressure back into your palms and slowly come into a down dog. Let those hips raise. Nice deep pedal on the right leg and then a deep pedal into the left ankle. Three legged, our left leg goes up high. And then a pigeon pose on that left side. As you can see here, Molly, she's sitting back on her back with a figure four. That's totally fine as well. Right? If we have a hip or a knee, something, or then maybe that just feels more comfortable. As always, that's always okay for you to do any of that stuff. It's always okay to find a position where you're comfortable. So another five seconds here. We come back into a down dog, a little pedal up and down. We walk our feet forward and we come all the way down onto our backs. While we're here, I want our legs to be flat down on the ground, our chest or excuse me, our back comes all the way down to the ground as well. Our arms come up over our head. We interlace our fingers and we flip our palms, pressing through into our elbows. Our legs come tight together. We press our toes down towards the ground, flexing our ankles. A full body stretch here, maintaining for two, one, and then we release, taking up space, opening up our arms, opening up our legs, letting our eyes shut a little bit of time in this final resting pose to let the body release, let the body relax, and to enjoy all the hard work you just got done doing. Followed by some movement in our fingers, making a tight fist with our hands and opening and closing that a few times, rolling out your wrists. And then doing the same thing down with your toes, opening and closing, curling and wiggling, flexing our ankles, starting to bend and extend our knees, bending and extend our elbows, shrugging our shoulders up, moving our hips and our legs, Eyes are staying shut as we slowly come up to a seated position or any position that feels comfortable right now. Maybe it's staying laying on the back for you. That's totally fine. Three breaths. There's that book end to this class coming up. Again, on my cue, I challenge you to slow down this inhale and press out loud with this exhale. First breath in the nose. Out. Second breath in through the nose. Loud exhale. Our last and deepest breath, folks. In through the nose. Fill up that chest. And out. Open up those eyes. Give yourself a little bit of a round of applause. Thank you so very much. Great job, and we will see you guys again.